Alrighty, I believe that the average miles per gallon this thing calculates might be crap. So what I'm doing is, I have it set up right now. The thing's set to zero. And of course, average miles per gallon right now is at zero. And if I remember not to reset the trip odometer, I can then calculate the true miles per gallon by taking the number of gallons it took to fill the tank versus the uh, actual mileage shown here on the trip odometer. So next video, hopefully I'll remember all that stuff and we'll get a calculation thereafter. Here we are, 182.5 miles in, a little more than a half tank. I'm going to put in approximately 20 bucks. I'm not 100% sure. There is a little leeway in the average miles per gallon because sometimes at the same price, if I put 20 bucks in where the needle is, I will actually need more to completely fill it. And other times when it's actually less than half full, it won't take the full 20. So there's a little slop there. Let's find out what it truly is. Now, according to our little computer, we're averaging 38.6. Let's see how many gallons it'll take. Now we'll calculate this all at home. Alrighty, we got the pump ready to go. I will do what I always do, is the midpoint. I'm gonna do the midpoint vapor escape where I get rid of the excessive vapors not not the natural reaction that's how you get a true full tank and this is a one stopper so we stop at one and I'll stop it right about here and what I'll do is let the vapors escape for 15 seconds or 10 Alrighty, it's now time to calculate the miles per gallon that we were getting in this trip. Please note that I did abort the vapor portion of that video because it, it wasn't really needed. When you drive long distances and you create a lot of heat, excessive vapors do build up in the gas tank, and that is when you release them. It is a trick that does work and has been verified by other people. And that's how you get more gas in the tank. But that wasn't needed in this case, as I said. Also note that I'm not using screen capture software because my computer turns into a horror show if a particular file or two winds up fragmented, which usually does. And so it won't really work on this computer. So we're going to start with the amount of mileage we've done, which is 182.5. And plus, I use a real calculator, not the Microsoft one. So... I'm going to put in, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get it all in frame, 182.5. There we go. We're going to divide that by the amount of gallons we've put in. Now, i got to figure out where that is. Okay, right there. At 1610. And it's really hard to see. I don't know if it's showing up in the video. 4.708 gallons. So we already hit divide, which is evident there in the display. 4.708. And it says we got 38.76 miles per gallon. 38.76. And what did our computer say we were getting? 38.6 miles per gallon. That is extremely close. Extremely, extremely close. Now in this case, when I did do the vapor trick, like I said, kind of useless on short distances, the average came out to about 36.8, the six and the eight backwards. So all in all, the accuracy of the average miles per gallon calculated on a 2011 Ford Fiesta is indeed very accurate. And that's all there is to it. This is George F551 saying, hope you've learned something. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.